Let's say good morning to our co-host once again, the Admiral Bill Stubblefield, who is having a happy birthday the today. Birthday boy, Bill. Yeah, yes. that's a lot of bees. What, birthday what, what, boy, Bill. What's our number today, Bill? Eighty-three. Eight-three. Yes, I enjoyed God, everyone. God bless you, my brother. Enjoyed all of them. Wow. So. And uh, Maria Stubblefield. Maria. St- oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my, my goodness. Maria Lawrence and <laughs> hyphen Stubblefield. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, Marie, I just married you to Bill. I know. Ooh. Yeah. Tell Bonnie and the judge that. Yeah, I'm sure that. they would yeah. be uh, intrigued. Yeah. There are lawyers lining up left and right yeah, now indeed. to divvy up these uh, indeed these estates here. Uh, so, as we move along into 9 o'clock hour here, Easter Sunday is the Sunday. Passover uh, starts today, as I understand right. it. I think Damon mentioned that on our uh, Facebook page. So, we wanted to bring in uh, a couple of friends to the program. Of course, Miss Judy, Judy Boykin, who I believe you got some pink frosted tips in there uh, today, well, right, Judy? you know, we are into the uh, Easter season, so we need a little color. <laughs> yeah, very nice. And introduce the pastor to your left. Well, this man I met when I moved here, and uh, he works very hard to keep me busy and out of trouble, but um, Ed is one of those people that just gets you. He's out there. Mm -hmm. He's doing things all the time, and he is the uh, pastor for 17 years at Mount Zion, right downtown. And uh, we've been going through our uh, Lenten services, which is every Wednesday night. And when we go to Ed's church, it rocks. So um, he's a friend and he's a um, a, a great clergyman and uh, a great citizen in our community. Pastor Ed Hall, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Great to have you with us. It's good to be here. Tell us about your church. Well, like Sister Judy said, uh, she mentioned that I'd been there for 17 years. I'll try to not tap the table so much because okay. the microphones pick that up and I'll amplify it. I had, was appointed to Mount Zion 17 years ago. And uh, it was a funny thing because uh, I was only given six months <laughs> to uh, last there because of the other pastors had not been successful and so 17 years later it has been a blessing to me and it's been a blessing to serve in the community Uh, and when I say serve in the community little things like just being a part of a Lenten service being part of a confirmation class being part of uh, the uh, say no to uh, drugs march uh, that we participate in. All these things uh, bond a church with its community. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, like I said, it's been a blessing. What will your Easter Sunday services be like this weekend? Well, we start out, uh, the wife and myself, uh, we finally said we're going to take and rent or get a hotel room. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And uh, because we live in Harpers Ferry, that means that we have to get up quite early uh, to make it to the sunrise service. And so we uh, have gotten a hotel room, the Comfort Inn even there in Martinsburg. And uh, once we stay there, we'll get up around 5 o'clock and go and pick up uh, breakfast sandwiches at McDonald's and uh, go to the service. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, the service will take place at Martin Luther King Park uh, right across the street. Uh, It normally lasts maybe 45 minutes and uh, then everybody will come back to the church and we'll have a light breakfast so that's nice. uh, that that starts it off and but uh, then we normally have our 10 o'clock service but the 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 thing that really starts it off is the Good Friday service for the community mm-hmm. and uh, like I said, 
I have been in the community for 17 years, and uh, the Reverend Al Clip. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, he has since passed, and uh, but he was instrumental in inviting me to participate in the Good Friday Crosswalk, and believe it or not, I'm the elderly statesman now. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, you know, the years go by quite fast. And uh, again, I truly have been blessed in serving the Lord. And uh, it, it's it's been a wonderful journey. And I hope it continues. A lot of people ask me when I'm going to retire. I said when my health gives out and that's the way I feel about it uh, my health is good and uh, as long as I can uh, serve God mm-hmm. then I will be well, there Pastor, at the church we have that in common a lot of people ask me when I'm going to retire but I think they're asking me for a different reason than they're asking you I, uh, Judy tell me about the crosswalk and the stops that you're making um, where do you start where do you end alrighty we will start Right at the city police department, but what time? Then let me go back. Okay, that's that's where the will our first stop. Um, If everyone would meet at 220 West Martin Street, Trinity United Methodist Church, and the front of it, we all meet there. Um, We provide out of our church um, the uh, cross. Everyone gets to chance to meet each other. It's a great time. So we would like everyone to be there uh, 10 o'clock and 10.30 the, uh, the uh, walk begins. That's Friday morning. Mm-hmm. And uh, the police department is the first stop. And then the next one is CCAP. The next one is the Eastern Panhandle Empowerment Center. That's Martin Street and then the library, and then the journal, your haunt, and then we end up at um, Brown's funeral home. And at each stop, it's what, 15 to 17 minutes, there is a different person each time from the community clergy or or a citizen who wants to do it um, to take the word, the seven last words. So that's how that works. Um, a lot of people sing they just start singing and everybody gets involved and in the past years the uh, journal always had someone walking with us and the police department always makes sure that you know we're not making traffic issues Mm -hmm. that's how simple it is but the real thing is that we are bonding we are we are um, I don't want to say when in fact you do this, the first time I did it, I thought, well, okay, this is cool. <laughs> and at, by the time we got to the end, I mean, I felt like a whole different person again. It really took me back to my childhood, you know, stuff that we did in church. And when you move around, you don't have that connection. And it's a great way to be with your neighbors and to have something in common, particularly when our world seems to be pretty upside down right now. Mm -hmm. And so um, for some people who say, I've never done it, I don't go to church all the time, I think this is a perfect time to come and meet people who probably feel the same way you do. And this pastor here has taken charge of this through the um, association and puts a lot of time in there because you have to coordinate everything with the buildings and the police and make sure it's safe. At the end, we are at the um, Trinity Episcopal. Right, Trini- Trinity Episcopal Church. There is a formal, lovely Good Friday. Uh, service and they always have soup and sandwich because that's the tradition on on Good Friday Uh, you can't go wrong it's a chance to meet your neighbors meet new neighbors see what's going on and um, it's to me it's like the pinnacle for for my holiday Mm -hmm. called Easter how many people will be in attending 
attendant, Judy? I would say in the vicinity of, of maybe 100 people. 100 people. Yeah. Now, does the same person uh, carry the cross the whole time or do they all I will be carrying the cross for the whole, the whole time. tour. Okay. okay. And I'll even have my Jesus gown on mm -hmm. and a crown. Now, in years past, I know. Uh, I go to Presbyterian Church. Mm -hmm. our, our pastors carry the cross. So mm -hmm. does this alternate between pastors every year, or uh, we? I thought that we would do something different. Yeah. In the past, uh, uh, we had different pastors yeah, carrying the, sure. the cross. But with me being in the gown, in the Jesus gown uh, or robe, and uh, the crown i thought it would be better for one person sure, sure. and uh, i'm what i'm planning on doing is have having a young person pick up the cross from behind sure, and sure. during yeah. um, jesus time there was a person that helped him carry the cross and so uh, i thought it would be fitting to have a youth to carry to bring up the back end. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Bob Rizzo via telephone, uh, yeah. Pastor. Uh, I, I don't know if you're able to hear because of the, the, the head some headphone situation. You'd have to have those on to be able to hear Bob. Judy will be able to hear him. Um, just got to be careful; it doesn't interfere with everything you got going on there. Uh, Bob, good morning. Thanks for calling in. Uh, good morning, Rob. Happy birthday, uh, for, uh, for whatever his name is over there. Admiral. Bill Stubblefield. Yeah, yeah the Admiral. <laughs> Admiral Cumulati. Right. I, I wanted to give a shout-out. I want to give a shout-out to uh, Pastor Hall. He and I go back, way back to the 1960s uh, at Harper's Ferry High. Uh, not many people remember the young... Uh, the young pastor, but uh, my wife and I do. And I want to really congratulate him on all that he does up in Martinsburg. I always hear good things about Pastor Hall. Well, thank you, Bob. I appreciate you, you, those you words. You know, his, uh, his real name is Butch, so I, I don't know if you call him <laughs> Pastor Butch or not. He did not tell me to call him Pastor Butch. <laughs> Coach. Yeah. Good, good morning. You. you look good on TV, Butch. Butch. <laughs> That's the thing. You never I, I know really, who's lurking out there, Pastor Ed. Yeah, and you can I, call I in. You, I want to wish you uh, a happy Easter or Bona Pasquale, as Rob knows, mm -hmm. for our Easter Sunday. I, I don't want to hold you up. You're, you're doing a great job. Look for you again at the next reunion. <laughs> It's always good to talk to you, Coach. Take care. Thank you, Bob. So I would say, um, and I believe this has been going on for a lot longer than the 17 years that you've been at the helm, Pastor Hall. Um, so I alluded to earlier, before I took my current job for 12 years, I was the editor at the Journal. Um, and I remember every Good Friday coming out, um, the staff would come out while you stopped at the newspaper office and, um, and did the prayer. And it's tremendously moving. I mean, Judy uh, talked a little bit about your community, but when you think at what, what you're commemorating, um, but yet you're doing it today, right here, right now, among um you know the people that you live and work with um it's just a tremendously moving experience so i would advocate for people to come and and take part and if if they can't do the whole thing stop at one of the places and just listen and observe because um you'll be very touched i think and you can also if you get too fatigued um, the um, church where we're going to be at the ending um, allows people if they can't make the whole walk to go ahead in and sit in the church and during the day during this whole season they do people do go in and sit and have private time also right, right. 
but yeah, it is. It's 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 a. I mean, I've been here a long time now, but when I came, these were the ways in which I got to know my community, you not connect. just with my mm-hmm. with my work. And faith is something that you have to measure, and you have to figure out how you're going to live it. If you know those kinds of things, but here in this beautiful beautiful area um, come on out and meet your neighbors and if you get a little fatigued or or whatever um, just in your own mind and your own heart you can you can really center yourself we're we're in a terrible time I think worldwide and government wise and what a great way to clear that I mean shake it out have a day where you can be in touch with what you need to be in touch with. That's the crosswalk. It starts Friday, Judy, and you're going to gather at what time and what location? Go ahead. <clears throat> it will begin at Trinity United Methodist Church, and uh, we start gathering at 10 o'clock. At 10.30, we'll have a prayer, and then the uh, crosswalk will begin. Well, I want to give a question, Bill. Yeah, I was going to say, you mentioned be singing. Is singing, singing uh, spontaneous, or do you have some uh, songs that you will... Uh, okay, uh, that's a good question. In the past, we didn't have any music background. Well, my wife <laughs> and my little grandson, uh, the whole family got together and we have a Bluetooth box, okay? And so what we do is program the different hymns, like Near, uh, Near the Cross, and uh, songs like that are yeah, hymns like great. that. So and, songs we can relate to. Yes, we, and, and people can sing to because yeah. they have, they, they've come up with those songs in the church. Yes. So uh, it's uh, that right there has helped tremendously because you always have music and it's Certainly. continuous yeah. music. Yeah, very good. And so everybody will sing along as uh, with yes. your, uh, your blue box. Now, how long has the crosswalk been done in Martinsburg? Do you know? It was well, there in his 17 years and probably yeah. more than my 12 years yeah. before yeah. that. Yeah. So, okay. so, I mean, I can't remember yeah. it well, not I, being done. And I, I started at the journal in my last tour yeah. of duty in 1996, maybe, and it was happening okay. then. Yeah. But Al Clip, you mentioned Al, Al Clip, Clip yeah. was um, instrumental at that time mm-hmm. um, yeah. in getting it going. So it's. It's long standing okay. for sure. I'm and here house. 30 years this year and I can not I I can't even go back and say that I haven't been doing it been, since yeah. I've been yeah. here. Yeah. 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 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> I was going We're back. all old here. <laughs> We're all old. I know. I mean, I was supposed to go back to Maine. Look at me. <laughs> it's too cold up there. Hey, thank to, uh, thank you both for coming in today. We appreciate it and uh, happy Easter to you both same to you. And I wish you nothing but the best of weather for the crosswalk. Yes.